Hello and welcome to Shannon Gardens. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So today I'm at my local gardening center, Pike Nurseries, and I am here on a rather gloomy day, but I thought it would be the perfect day actually to look for an indoor plant for a pot that I had purchased over the summer while we were on vacation at Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. So I'm going to go in and look for a plant for that pot, as well as check out what they have in mid-September here um, that's available now and see if they have anything on sale because I love a good bargain and want to see what they have and wanted to bring you guys along with me. So let's go check it out. All right, we are headed into the house plant section at Pike, Pike Nurseries. See what we can find here. So the area that I'm going to put my pot is actually, I would say, mostly shade. So it's not going to get a lot of sun in the room that I have it in. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out specifically for mostly shade plants. Ooh, look at this. I don't know what this is. Pepperonia pearl. Look at these little spikes. That is so neat in the variegated leaves. And the, they have red stems. That is lovely. Let's see if I can find. I'm not quite sure if these are what kind of sun requirements they have. So I'll need to look them up and see. Okay, so this is a cool plant. I'm going to try to pronounce it, Calathea, but look at these leaves, the wavy leaf, and it's called a rattlesnake plant. That is so different and unique. Now the pot that it's in, I think that's a little bigger than what I'm looking for, but what a neat plant. So this is a lower light plant, and look at the colors on this. That is beautiful with the red, reddish pink outlines. And then if you look at the stems, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but here it is. And it says lower light. And if you look at the base here, it looks like it can be divided. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's what it appears to me. So you might be able to make several plants out of this one. They have several trailing plants here called pothos, which is low to medium light. Now, I'm not necessarily looking for a trailing plant, but I do think that these are very pretty. And of course, I love the lime green. That is by far my favorite. I love a bright lime green color. It just brings so much light into whatever space you're looking to put it in. Although this variegated leaf is quite nice as well. This is a plant I've never seen before called a bird's nest fern. And if you look, you can see where it gets its name by the leaves wrapping around and it creates a little bird's nest looking plant. It says that's medium to low light and one to two feet tall and wide. They also have a variety of succulents and this one in particular is so neat looking. Retro succulents. Aloe. Oh, this is aloe. Look at that leaf. That is so neat. Now these are have highlight requirements. However, if I had a space that I was looking to fill for highlight, I would definitely use one of these. And it's neat. The bloom is actually flat. Isn't that pretty and bright? I wanted to show you the length of the stems and how dainty they are with these beautiful leaves on top. That is a very attractive plant and this is in the low light section. I think that is so pretty. Look at the succulent. It looks like green peas. <laughs> it's called string of pearls. I've never seen anything like that and they're genuinely little balls. That is so neat. Okay, you guys, I've chosen my house plants and now let's go see what they have to plant outside and hit the sale table. So many plants to choose from and 
pretty displays that they have put up here. Look at how nice that looks. They've got quite a bit for sale back here. Some beautiful butterfly bushes that are now, looks like $20 for a good size. As well as some roses there in the background I'll go take a look at in a moment. They've got these bushes. I'm not gonna pronounce this, but I will show you guys that I have actually planted in my yard. These are on sale for $15 and these do quite well. They're very pretty and bloom early in the summer and then off and on throughout the summer in my zone. They've got some shrub roses and then your standard roses as well as some knockout. Anywhere it looks like from about $20 to $30 on sale. And some of them, they may look a little rough right now, but if you give them some love, plant them and give them some love, then you will have blooms and you will have paid a smaller price. So as long as you can wait and just give them the care that they need. Now these actually, these look really nice, but you will have a beautiful rose for a fraction of the cost. They've got some hydrangeas for $25. Oh, this one's 20. So they have some hydrangeas on sale as well. And then we're over at the sale table for the perennials. Summer Day Self Heal. Ooh, that's a pretty bloom. Here they are. How much are these? They are $6.49. Not too bad. They also have some Lemon Puff Shasta Daisies for $6.50. And again, while you won't get the flower now, if you get something on sale, a lot of times you can go ahead and plant that and then you will have it next year and you will have spent quite a bit less because you got it on sale. So you won't have the impact of the initial flower right away. However, you will have it next year and you will appreciate it that you spent less than you would have. Oh, look at these. The Delphinium for $10.50. Another great deal, they've got their butterfly bushes for 30% off. That's quite a bit of savings right there. And they're still blooming. So you'll get a little bit of bloom time before those go dormant until next year. So they also have some grasses on sale, but I wanted to show you guys this one in particular. It is called the Giant Horsetail Reed. Look at that. That is very cool looking. Oh, and the one next to it with the curly stems. Very cool. And lots and lots of mums. I'm not quite ready to plant mine yet, but I will be in the next couple of weeks. But look at this. So many different beautiful colors to choose from. Beautiful fall colors. And one thing I learned about the mums today is you actually do not plant or I'm sorry, you do not water from the top, you water in the soil at the base, so under here, to prevent insects and disease. You guys, I just wanted to quickly show you these little plants for their tiny pots, or if you wanted to plant multiple in a bigger pot. But what was really cool to me was this red air plant. How pretty is this? All right, you guys, here's what I'm coming home with. I've got my beautiful plant here, that red leaf. And then, honestly, I walked by this one so much, I decided I should get it. If I keep walking by it several times, then it's coming home with me. And then my red air plant to play off of this plant. All right, let's get to planting. 
All right, you guys, so I'm back and I'm ready to plant these new plants. Um, first, I wanted to show you the pot that I was referencing that we picked up on our summer trip to Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. So this is the pot. It is a, kind of a gray blue background and then it has etched flowers in it, which are brown. So it kind of can go with any kind of decor that you have, which is what I look for when I look for pots is um, a pot that can be moved from room to room. Um, I often change out plants in my pots just depending on, you know, how they're doing or uh, what they look like and or move them, you know, as I try to test out where is the best space for them. And so I like pots that I can do that and kind of go seamlessly in our house. Um, this particular brand is this in case you guys are interested that's the brand of the pot that i got and the plant that i'm gonna put in here is the pepperonia i believe i'm saying that correctly so it is this plant i am choosing this plant for that pot because it has kind of a silvery green leaf and i thought that that would play very nicely into this grayish pot. I think that that goes very nicely. And actually the shape of the leaf of the plant is the same shape of the uh, petals on the flower. So I just thought that looked really nice. So I'm going to put this one in there. And again, this has the red stems and I must have been in a red mood today because that's the theme I went with. I just kept gravitating toward the uh, plants that had red in them. So that's going to go there. And then the next plant I got is this beautiful, beautiful red air plant right there. So pretty. They had orange and green as well, but I just thought that this red was so striking and of course went with what I had purchased here. So I got this one. I could not walk away without <laughs> getting this plant. And I have a pot already this tiny pot and i am simply going to just put it in there no soil needed it's called an air plant and i will water it once a week by submerging it in the water uh, for about 15 minutes and then letting it air dry and that's it can't ask for an easier plant than that so this one very excited about and then my last one that i got is this Eglonema. I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'll show you guys the tag just in case. But that is the plant. And if you guys have watched any of my videos in the past, I talk a lot about dividing plants and getting the most for your money. And I did not go shopping for indoor plants today with that in mind. I was kind of just shopping for them, wasn't really thinking about that. I kept looking at this plant because I loved the red leaf, the red tips here, and then the red stems. And, um, but then as I looked closer, I noticed there were several shoots in the soil right here, right here. There are probably about five. If you go all the way around right here. Um, and so once I saw that and saw that it was a plant that could be divided, then it was a no brainer. I was going to get that plant. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just pull out one of these little plants and put that in a smaller pot. I'm going to keep the rest of this plant intact put it in a bigger pot, and then as it outgrows the pot I have it in, or if there are more offshoots, then I can divide them at that time and expand um, that plant from one to several. So I'm very excited about that one as well. And let's get these in the pots. All right, you guys, here's the final product. I've got my four new plants. I love how the red in each plant plays off of each other. And I'm excited to get these inside and placed where I want them to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on our visit to Pike Nurseries to look at the indoor and outdoor plants as well as the sale items that they had. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.